Gucci gang gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, 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 So much extra B roll. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ijama. I wanted to do a new series in 2018 where I talk about all the things that I've been loving for the month, from beauty to makeup to hair to what I've been reading. So that's what this video is gonna be about. If it's your first time here on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let us start talking. I cannot believe that January is already over. The month flew by, but I had an amazing, amazing month. I traveled for school twice. I had a bomb blogging month and life is good. First things first, I know you're probably like, girl, why are you just gonna roll up here with new hair and not say anything? So this is my very first favorite for January. This is the Finger Comber Kinky Curly Afro Wig. I've now been wearing it for the past two weeks and I have it in the color Autumn Spice, which is like a brown and then it kind of has this like golden underneath. I'll do a separate video all about this hair. I wanna show you guys three different ways that I've been wearing this hair, but it has really been giving me so much life. I really think that I'm gonna be doing protective styling for a lot of this year, so this is a really great way to start. Sticking with hair, I just posted a video about these products. You might have been deterred to watch it, but I actually really, really, really do like Shea Moisture's Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Curl Stretch Pudding. I think it's a really good moisturizer and styler for dry 4C natural hair, which is the story of my life. It really did like reduce shrinkage. My day one twist out was a lot more stretched out than most twist outs are for me. I also really liked the detangling shampoo from that line. It was super moisturizing and actually was able to start detangling my hair with just that in. So those two products from the line, I would highly recommend. The rest of the line is kind of, you know, up in the air. And if you don't like Shea Moisture, I'm sorry, but those two products cut it for me. I didn't do much with my hair last month. Um, I started off the month with crochet braids from December and then probably wore my hair out for two weeks and then got started wearing this wig. So it's been a very low key month. Those are my favorite things. This is actually just my favorite thing <laughs> for the month of January. Moving on to beauty, as you can see, my face is bait. I did not do this on myself. One day I will get there, probably not. But I just got my makeup done earlier today by Ijama of Ijama Isn't It Beauty. I will tag her here and down in the description box. Make sure you check her out. She's based in New Jersey, New York area, and she, if you can't tell, is also Nigerian. So if you're looking for a Nigerian makeup artist or an African makeup artist or a black female makeup artist, definitely hit her up. She was bomb. We did this really soft, natural, like subtle beat that I just can't get over. But the foundation that she used is, ooh, let me clean my bottle, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, which I've been wearing all month. I absolutely love this foundation. It has really, really, really great finish. Like it just looks really natural and like subtle. So normally I put like two pumps and apply just with my fingers. Each time I use like seven pumps today, <laughs> but that's because we really needed my makeup to last for the day. It's a perfect color match. I'm the color Caracas, Caracas, whatever. There are 33 different shades in the line. So definitely go to Sephora, get a sample and see if there's a shade that matches you well. I am going to be rebuying this or hoping that NARS sends me some more, but if they don't send me some more, I'm definitely gonna be rebuying this. The coverage is not as good as um, the Pro Filter, but the finish is really, really natural. A soft, radiant matte. This is like my favorite, favorite beauty product, makeup product for January. Another makeup product that I really like is Becca's Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So all it is is a little cream that you put under your eyes and it just helps to like really open open them up and brighten them up and add a little bit of glow. We didn't use any today. This isn't a new product per se. They've had this under eye brightener for a little bit, but they just released it in the color medium deep. The color that they had previously, uh, it's not within reach. It was just too light for brown skin. So they released a darker one that really does work well under brown skin. So what I have been kind of doing for the past couple of weeks is I'll put a little bit of this on first under my eye. I'll just tap, tap, tap. Then I'll use my fingers. I've been loving applying makeup with my fingers lately and just add the NARS two pumps and then just smooth that all over my face. I won't do any concealer under the eye because this will help brighten it and then the NARS will help with the color correction. So that's kind of been my go-to makeup this month, last month, and probably will be into February too. 
One last makeup thing and then we'll shift to beauty. So NARS also sent me their spring um, lip colors and they're kind of too bright for, for right now because it's definitely not spring. But there's one color that I really, really like and that I've been wearing a little bit and that is the color Hellgate. So I'm actually gonna put it on so you can see because I just needed to redo my lip anyway. See? It's just like a really nice red. Oh, it's not matching the red of my dress though, so that's awkward. So there it is. I feel like it looks crazy, like the red on red. I need... <sighs> See, like it looks better, right? It looks much better now. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna throw this rug on here because it looks way better without this other competing red. Like, look at that. Yes. Skincare. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my skin has been going through so many different things in my adult life. It's come a long way, it's doing well. I do have one pimple today that's trying to distract y'all and you probably hadn't even seen it except for the fact that I just pointed it out. But something that has actually really, really helped with pimples is Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting BHA Liquid 2%. This stuff is amazing. It has really done wonders to my skin. So I started using it right when we came back from Nigeria and Kenya and the first couple times I was using it twice a day. After washing my face in the morning, I would put a little bit on and then at night I would put a little bit on you know, right after a toner. And the main difference is that I've used products with AHAs before, I've used retinols, and those are all good, but there is nothing like some good old salicylic acid. If you're struggling with acne and hyperpigmentation, and this stuff has salicylic acid. So, the BHA liquid has been my best friend. In the past week and a half, I reduced the usage to just once per day, but I have noticed a really big improvement in my skin. So I'm planning on recording a skin progress video. So I've also been getting professional skincare treatments that you might have seen on Instagram. So I can't attribute all of my progress to this one product. But I did see visible progress because I started using it um, and I didn't have a facial appointment for like the next three weeks and I saw that my face like actually looked brighter, my spots looked lighter, Jonathan even commented on it, um, and I wasn't getting as many pimples as I normally do, especially around my cycle, so this stuff, the truth. Another beauty product that I have been liking lately is Urban Skin RX Super C Brightening Serum. I've been using Urban Skin RX for I think a little bit over a year now. I use their cleanser and their moisturizer. So now that I stop using the BHA twice a day, in the mornings I'm using the Super C Brightening Serum underneath my moisturizer that has SPF. I do like that it adds a little bit of extra moisture to my skin, especially in the winter. Think of it as like a little oil. Like I'm adding an oil that also has vitamin C to my my skin before I put on my moisturizer so that's what I've kind of been using it if you are interested in the cleansers I use the even tone cleanser and it's now available at Target so go check out your local Target for those moving on to clothing and accessories Jonathan bought me something this thing that I'm about to show you in September he bought it for my birthday granted he bought it the day before my birthday but you know he tried it didn't come until the end of December like, can you believe that Anyway, I waited four months. I meant F-O-R months, but like it might as well have been F-O-U-R months. For my Gucci belt. Gucci, 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 Gucci. I love this belt. I bought my Gucci bag, my uh, mini Marmont bag in July or August. I kind of wish I just got the belt. Like I don't need the belt in the bag. So the bag isn't nearby or I would show you. I've worn it a lot on Instagram. If you're gonna buy something Gucci and you're like really digging the double G moment that's happening right now, get the belt. It's super hard to find, which is why it took me three freaking months for it to come in. Um, but I've seen a couple people order sizes that are too big and then just kind of like wrap it around their bodies. They'll cut extra holes in it. Um, I didn't want to do that. I was like, if God wants me to have this belt, it's gonna come. Yeah, I got the size 80 and I kind of wear a six, size six or eight in pants and dresses. Yeah, this is my favorite thing. I've worn it so much. But best believe if a belt costs $300, $400, I'm a weird Okay, a dollar for every day of the year. I feel like I have gotten into this point where I am kind of like slightly obsessed with designer things. It kind of needs to stop because I don't have the money to support this like life dream. But I have this Prada shoulder bag recently. Let me tell you the story about this bag. Okay, so it just kind of like goes like, 
It's so roomy. It has so many compartments. You know, you can open up the flap, and there's like a compartment in here with like a little like thing in there. I should probably do a what's in my bag video. If you want me to do a full review, let me know. And there's like the secret pocket, and there's a zipper pocket. Let me tell you about this bag. When I went to LA for my birthday, my friend Dion and I went to, uh, what is it called? Roseo Drive, where like all the bougie shops are. And we walked into all the shops and I saw this bag in Prada. And I was like, wow, you know, that's a really nice bag. It was shortly after I bought my Gucci bag, so I was like, that Gucci bag is mad impractical. It's like this big, it can't fit anything. Like this would be a really great everyday bag. And then I also thought, you know, like, I feel like this is like a really mature bag. You know, like, I could carry this forever. I could really carry this for a long time as long as I don't get it dirty. So I told myself this is going to be my bag purchase for next year because in 2018. I feel like one bag a year is like not too crazy, right? Am I right? Tell me if I'm right. <laughs> so at the beginning of this year, I started stocking it. And it was like everywhere. It was $2,000. One day I saw an ad for The Real Real. And I was like, okay, let me go check out The Real Real, which is a luxury consignment shop. So people send in their used designer items and then you other people can buy it. Girl, let me tell you how much this bag cost. Only $700, which yes, is a lot for a bag, I understand. But it was originally 2000, so I just feel like it was a deal. Plus they had 20% off. I get so excited when I talk. So I feel like I only actually paid like $650 for the bag, which is a third of how much the Gucci bag costs. And like, this is way more practical. Plus, I just saw that white bags are in style right now and slouchy bags are in style. So I'm just styling, okay? Don't get it twisted, I do shop at Target and Family Dollar. I just am now at a point where I want to invest in my handbags and my shoes and then I'll, you know, buy whatever kind of clothes. Clothes you grow out of, but shoes and handbags, those can last forever. Outside of those things, my favorite TV show for January, I love Grace and Frankie. I watched season four of Grace and Frankie that recently came out. So that was my favorite TV show for the month of January. Movies, uh, we saw Star Wars. It was okay. Um, Jonathan's more of the Star Wars fan than I am. I've been reading this devotion in the YouVersion Bible app. It's called Challenges of a Millennial Marriage. I wanted to read a marriage devotional last month because we did spend so much time apart. I spent less than half the month actually like in the same house in the same city. There's a lot of information there um, and I really liked the different devotionals. I liked the scriptures that they brought up. So go check out Challenges of a Millennial Marriage if you are a millennial in a marriage. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I'm super excited for February. I actually just shot some Valentine's Day content today. That's actually why I'm all done up and why I'm wearing red when I like never wear red. It's New York Fashion Week. I'm going to one other fashion week later this month. Take your guess down below. Am I going to London? Am I going to Paris? Am I going to Milan? Guess down below. And if you guess correctly, maybe I'll send you something. Just maybe. Maybe I'll pick one of y'all and send you something. <laughs> Thanks so much guys for watching this video. If you have not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and I will see y'all next time. Bye.